All right, Rosemary. Tell me how time traveled into the past is possible. Time travel to the past is theoretically allowed using the following methods, colon 24 traveling faster than the speed of light, the use of cosmic strings and black holes, wormholes, and LQD air drive edit via faster than light, FTL travel if one were able to move information or matter from one point to another faster than light, then according to special relativity, there would be some inertial frame of reference in which the signal or object was moving backward in time. This is a consequence of the relativity of simultaneity in special relativity, which says that in some cases different reference frames will disagree on whether two events at different locations happened at the same time or not, and they can also disagree on the order of the two events technically. These disagreements occur when the space or time interval between the events is space-like, meaning that neither event lies in the future light cone of the other.25 if one of the two events represents the sending of a signal from one location and the second event represents the reception of the same signal at another location, then as long as the signal is moving at the speed of light or slower, the mathematics of simultaneity ensures that all reference frames agree that the transmission event happened before the reception event.25. However, in the case of a hypothetical signal moving faster than light, there would always be some frames in which the signal was received before it was sent, so that the signal could be said to have moved backwards in time. And since one of the two fundamental postulates of special relativity says that the laws of physics should work the same way in every inertial frame, then if it is possible for signals to move backwards in time in any one frame, it must be possible in all frames. This means that if observer A sends a signal to observer B which moves FTL faster than light in A's frame but backwards in time in B's frame, and then B sends a reply which moves FTL in B's frame but backwards in time in A's frame, it could work out that receives the reply before sending the original signal, the clear violation of causality in every frame. An illustration of such a scenario using space-time diagrams can be found here. 26. The scenario is sometimes referred to as a tachyonic antitelephony. According to special relativity, it would take an infinite amount of energy to accelerate the slower-than-light object to the speed of light. Although relativity does not forbid the theoretical possibility of tachyons which move faster than light at all times, when analyzed using quantum field theory, it seems that it would not actually be possible to use them to transmit information faster than light. 27. There is also no widely agreed upon evidence for the existence of tachyons. The faster than light neutrino anomaly had suggested that neutrinos were possibly tachyons, but the results of the experiment were found to be invalid upon further analysis. Another group of experimenters state that a lack of radiation posited by a theory indicates the neutrinos cannot have really been traveling faster than light. 28. The opera team leader, Dario Otiero, and CERN's research director, Sergio Bertolucci, note other explanations are possible for the lack of neutrino energy loss via radiation. 29.30. All right. Thank you.